staph infections in public schools has been making national headlines and led to the postponement of high school football games this fall in southwest Virginia. But winter sports that feature skin-to-skin -skin contact, such as wrestling, actually pose more of a risk for infections than football. Dobbins Bennett coach Buzzy Mann says school officials are used to battling the problem and his staff is proactive in preventing the spread of communicable disease. Um, our awareness with, with staff and communicable diseases stems from the close body contact and you know where, you're, where they're sweating on each other and that type of thing. This is, it's definitely on people's mind, you know, and, and we understand that. We're doing all that we can do. We've uh, actually, there's even some new products on the market that our trainers are trying to get, get in here so that we can uh, make sure that we've covered all of our bases. <laughs> The first thing they have to do is they have to shower and so some of the things that we're, we're doing to help stop that type of thing is we sanitize our masks before they go home every day. Um, you probably saw as you came in that we had a little thing for us to clean and what we do is we put the mat cleaning solution in that tub and they wipe their feet on it and then dry them and then come on in and step on the mats after that. Uh, also we are laundering their shirts and their shorts and providing them clean towels every day. All the coaches here I know are you know, very concerned about this and, and we definitely want to do the best that we can to, to take care of our athletes. You know whenever they have some type of abrasion on their skin that, that we cover it and then we treat it with antibiotic ointment or, or hydrogen peroxide or, or something of that matter and then we cover it and if it's oozing, then we don't let them participate at that point with any skin lesions. Now, what that does is that you can from stepping over the top if I'm ready to come back. It's going right there. Okay? We have some uh, foam, and what we don't generally use it in practice is what we'll do is before we go wrestle matches and competitions, it's called uh, Kin Shield. And basically, what it is is it provides a barrier between your skin and the other wrestler or anything that they may get. Yeah. Then we're probably going to put the best team that we've ever put on the mat, you know, if, if everyone continues to come along and, and develop and we don't have a, a rash of injuries, that, that we should be competing for uh, many titles in tournaments and tournaments and placing a lot, of, a lot of kids everywhere we go.